Hey guys, I'm back in Amnesia. And yeah, um I haven't played it in a while just because it's freaking me out. <sighs> so let's see. That noise is like the problem now is I can't really remember like where did I go, where did I come from? Okay, wait. Oh, that's just great. No women are available. <sighs> okay. Oh, sorry, Daniel. <laughs> um. Okay, what was going on here? Ooh, can you see this? Ooh, disgusting. Anybody wants a bottle of wine? Doesn't seem like it was really good for people who drank it like before. Okay, what did just did you see that? Like everything turned red? Ooh! Um, hello? Oh, that's just great. I wonder if like three or left. Come on. So as I said, I can not remember where I was before. But as here is the tinderbox, I probably haven't been in here. I want to save some oil, but at the same time, I don't want to like light every candle, just in case you know there is that creepy guy stalking me. Something behind here. Hmm. Some I don't know, like somehow. Oh, everything just looks same. Was that a dog? Okay. Calm down, Daniel. What were they? Ooh. Okay. Can you see this? Like, it's always like turning red. Just in case I need a place to hide. What was that? Okay. Calm down. Holy shit. Okay, that's maybe not the best coordinate to hide. Ooh, I better go into that corner. Or behind here. Yes, that's a good place to hide. Calm down, Daniel. You're freaking me out. <sighs> Let's read this. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. 
Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Great. Daniel is just freaking out. Is still freaking out. Light. I can continue when you're, when you're acting like this. I mean, we have to be a team. Come on. How is he feeling? Oh. <laughs> like, what can I do? Oh, just look at the lights. What's going on? I mean, I cannot continue if you act like this. Stop acting like that! Oh my gosh. continue I've been here before okay Ooh. is that a rat should I just go back what should I, I don't even know what to do okay anybody if you know what I have to do actually maybe I should watch another video would that be right I don't even know Should I go back, like where I came from? That's what I will do. I'm not gonna walk over that. Um. Mm, great. That's just what I needed. Oh, sorry Daniel. No wonder he's always feeling like... Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Daniel. What did he What did he just say? I didn't even hear what he was saying. But I know that I need oil very soon. Oh, here's another door. It's been locked, of course. Oh, wait. Oh. Need to save oil. Um door leading the back room blocked off. Find another way. How? How am I supposed to find another way? Huh? Okay guys, I have actually no clue what to do. That would be very well, it would be very nice if somebody of you just could give me a hint or something. Should I have go back or I don't know. So I'll just do a cut here because I think it doesn't really make sense if you just walk around and uh, yeah, you know. Wait. No. Hmm? Okay. Alright, I'll do a cut here. Thanks for watching and please help me. <laughs> Bye.